there, it's Lauren from Proposify. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily write thank you notes for your prospects and clients. Saying thanks is nice. It gives everyone the warm fuzzies, and the etiquette among us would say that it's the only polite thing to do. So why don't we do it more? Because we often feel awkward expressing gratitude, we sometimes don't do it. And if the person isn't expecting a thank you note, why bother, right? But it actually is a big deal. A study found that people overestimated the amount of time and effort it would take to say thanks and underestimated the impact it would have on the recipient. It was positive all around. Say you got a gift from your grandma. You think, hmm, I don't need to give her a call. She knows I appreciate it. But just think about how happy she would be to hear from you and that you're really enjoying that sweater that she knitted. So if you're gonna do it for grandma, why wouldn't you do it for your prospects and clients? Because there's also a business case to be made for sending a quick thank you note to those people as well. Here's how gratitude can be your secret weapon. First, it makes for a better customer experience. And that's a big deal because two thirds of customers say that experience is more important than price. Second, a good customer experience leads to more referrals. Three out of four buyers will recommend your company after they have a good experience with you. And third, it makes for more loyal customers, since feeling unappreciated is the number one reason why people switch vendors. So we're ready to start saying thanks. So what does a good business thank you note need? Two things, automation and a good dose of authenticity. Here at Proposify, we're big fans of using templates for your proposals. But using a templated thank you note might come off as sincere. You know, the robotic thank you for your business. Instead, I propose using a thank you note formula to write a thank you note quickly and authentically. I like this one from Lizzie Post. She's the great great granddaughter of the OG etiquette lady, Emily Post. Here's how it works. Step one, open. Step two, thank them specifically. And step three, close. Yep, three steps, that's it. Here, I'll show you an example of this formula in action. I wrote this thank you for the opportunity to submit a proposal thank you note using this formula. It uses a hypothetical situation from one of my favorite shows. See if you can figure out which one. As you can see, Andy followed the formula. He opens, he thanks Leslie specifically, and he references the specific competition that he's entering. He added in a few optional details to really drive the point home, and then he closes with a forward-looking statement. Done. So why does a note like this work so well? It's concise and doesn't stray from the topic at hand. It stays on the thank you message and doesn't include any others, like that outstanding invoice or the question about the project kickoff. You can get back to business in the next message, but for now, you're focusing on saying thanks. It's specific and doesn't use generic statements. This lets the recipient know that this isn't some automated mass produced message. It's an actual thank you coming from an actual person. And it's not too over the top. It stays positive and forward looking, but also honest and realistic too. Well, there you have it. My easy way to write business thank you notes that your prospects and clients will be delighted to receive. Want more business thank you note examples? And maybe some more fun TV show references? Click over to the Proposify blog for seven more sample letters for a variety of sales and proposal situations. 